KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you, Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. And we're looking at Attorney General Levin Camacho responding to questions and criticisms delivered on the link by Senator Frank Plaus Jr. and Public Auditor B.J. Cruz. The pair asking if AG will act on audit findings relative to the OPA's hotel quarantine audit. Auditor Cruz finding $3 million in question costs, a possible conflict of interest with the main procurer and a hotel. Cruz saying the first round of hotel quarantine procurement performed by the governor's former legal counsel and son-in-law, Hai Hyun, did not comply with local law. Meanwhile, Senator Blas jumping into the fray, penning several letters to the AG, asking if there will be any action taken on the audit findings. The senator saying the AG never wrote him back, but Camacho giving us the tea this morning on the link. It's under active review and it's disingenuous for anyone to say that we're, we're ignoring any letters. I mean, we've been in contact with Senator Blas and, you know, the OPA, he issued his, his findings. Um, but it, it's absolutely not true that we're ignoring anyone or not doing anything. Um, unfortunately, we're living in a time where the, we elevate sound bites over substance and talk radio is not really one where you're going to go into nuance, right? So our, our commitment has been to see through the noise, um, to make a decision based on law and evidence and to not base our decision based on casting or strongly worded letters or people coming onto the show and, and bad-mouthing me. Camacho to the auditor, stay in your lane. The OPA, when it's like, okay, the OPA said something was wrong, therefore it's a crime. That's, it's not that simple. And I just want to be very clear about that. The AG says it's not that simple, and what makes it complicated is a recent Supreme Court of Guam ruling. Basically saying the Organic Act vests the governor with ultimate authority over quarantine, which includes establishing quarantine facilities. And I know, Chrissy, you know, you like to ask me, when do I ever disagree with the governor? This is one of those cases where we openly disagree with the governor, and we argue that Section 19605 was organic. And she won. The AG flipping the script on his critics, saying they are the ones who are doing nothing. The OPA and the legislature both have authority to take action, and neither of them are doing anything at this point other than sending letters. AG Camacho going in deeper on the auditor, saying he needs to be consistent, citing an earlier Link interview with Cruz. His job is to be the procurement police, and he went on and he debarred a vendor, and that was a very big thing, and he took shots at me and his, his decision. And it's, it seems to be selective when he's going to kind of put on his police procurement hat and when he's going to kind of kick the can down the road or pass the buck. From Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Another situation where we don't necessarily agree on something. Um, I'm sure will be back on the radio.